sooner rather than later, outsiders distinguished as Kai just have ascended from an entry in a precipice underneath the Pacific Sea, and began to go after beachfront urban communities bringing about a conflict that takes a large number of lives, and rapidly consumes humankind's assets. To battle the beasts, an exceptional kind of weapon is planned, enormous, humanoid battling machines, known as Jaegers, which are controlled all the while by two pilots whose personalities are bound in a brain connect which allows them to share the psychological strain. I just get through the entryway at a quicker rate, with each new Kiju adjusted for. As they become less compelling, Earth's unified legislatures lose confidence in the Jaegers' capacity, the Jaeger program is ended, with assets redirected to building a beachfront fortress to safeguard waterfront urban communities. The four leftover Jaegers are redeployed to Hong Kong to safeguard the unfortified shoreline until the wall can be finished. Stacker Pentecost, leader of the Jaeger powers, devises an arrangement to end the conflict by utilizing an atomic warhead to obliterate the entrance. Pentecost approaches resigned pilot Raleigh Beckett and persuades him to return and pilot Vagabond Risk, the Jaeger he and his sibling Yancey once steered. During a mission, Yancey was killed by a Kiju while associated with his sibling, damaging Raleigh. Showing up at Hong Kong, Raleigh tests with potential co-pilots to find one with a solid association, as the more grounded the association, the better their exhibition in fight. Detecting areas of strength for A, Raleigh requests to be cooperated with Marco Mori. Pentecost goes against, as Marco is his supportive girl, however he at last yields. The teen's underlying trial almost finishes in a debacle when Marco becomes involved with a cherished memory of a Kiju assault. She coincidentally enacts and almost releases Tramp Peril's weapons while in the overhang. The couple are removed from the field as the leftover Jaegers are entrusted with fighting off a twofold Kiju assault in Hong Kong. The protection goes seriously, with the Kaijus obliterating two Jaegers, Dark Red Tropical Storm and Cherno Alpha, and handicapping a third Jaeger, Striker Aha. Pentecost sends Raleigh and Marco to mount a point of no return, and the pair drive off the attack. I in the interim, Dr. Newton Geisler, a researcher concentrating on the Kaijus, gathers a machine permitting him to lay out a psychological connection with a Kiju cerebrum section. The experience almost kills him. However he finds the Kaijus are really counterfeit weapons shipped off Earth, as an attacking power to permit one more animal categories to colonize the planet with Pentecost's endorsement. He searches out Hannibal Chow, a significant figure in the dealing of Kiju parts, trying to obtain an unblemished Kiju mind to rehash the trial. Chow condemns Geisler's converging with the Kiju mind, as he has stood out for them, and the Kiju going after Hong Kong are looking for him. After Wanderer Peril kills the two Kiju, Chow and his group move in to reap parts. Geisler acknowledges one of the Kiju is pregnant, Chow and his team are gone after by the infant, which bites the dust in the wake of eating Chow. Geisler and his partner Hermann Gottlieb converge with the child Kiju's unblemished cerebrum, where they find the mystery controlling the progression of Kai just through the gateway. The Jaeger powers reassemble to finish their arrangement to annihilate the entrance. Pentecost wanders into the sea profundities, with Raleigh and Marco supporting him. Geisler and Gottlieb illuminate them the entry has a safeguard framework to control the section of Kaijus, and will possibly permit them to enter on the off chance that they can emulate a Kiju's hereditary code. Before they can deal with this data, they are gone after by three Kaijus, including the biggest on record. Pentecost explodes the warhead, forfeiting himself and Striker Aha to kill the Kaijus monitoring the entry. Raleigh and Marco seize a debilitated Kiju and enter the entry, expecting to overburden Vagabond Peril's atomic reactors to involve it as an ad-libbed bomb. With the Jaeger basically harmed by the battle, Raleigh launches Marco and physically supersedes the security conventions prior to shooting himself. Wanderer Peril explodes on the opposite side of the entryway, obliterating it and the outsider leaders, as the two pilots arise securely on the ocean surface.